everybody, I'm Daisy Lopez and today I'll be showing you guys how to get fitted for your bike um, so you can get started on that. Today you only need four things, uh, scissors, two allen keys, so you want four millimeter and five millimeter, and then a roll of electrical tape, um, and then your bike of course. So ideally you want to purchase a bike that's your size. Um, but if you already have a bike and you're just trying to make it as comfortable as possible, uh, two things you're going to be worried about are your seat height, um, and you can adjust it here, and then your saddle uh, position. Um, to adjust your seat height, you're going to use your Allen key to loosen the bolt so that you can raise or lower your seat post. As a side note, if you have a quick release skewer, you don't need the Allen key. It would help if you could use a doorway to balance yourself or lean against a wall with a mirror across from you so that you can see yourself and make adjustments. Seat height is important to maintain proper knee health. If your seat is too low, it could result in knee problems over time. If your seat is too high, it'll cause you to rock your hips while cycling and could cause pain behind your knee and on your hamstrings. To get your seat to a perfect height, you want to balance yourself and place both your heels on the respective pedal and pedal backwards. If you feel your hips rocking or your heels don't touch the pedals, your seat is too high and you need to lower it. For the best height, your legs should be completely extended with your heels on the pedals at the bottom of the pedal stroke without rocking. This may take a couple of tries. Be patient with yourself. When you get the right height, use the electrical tape to wrap around the bottom of your seat post right above the part where it goes into the frame. Once you find the proper seat height, you're going to move on to find the best saddle position. Your saddle should be parallel to the floor. If it is tilted up or down, it could cause discomfort when riding. If you don't have a carpenter's level, you can use a clear plastic cup with water or a water bottle to make sure it's balanced. You can also adjust your seat forwards or backwards to get to a more comfortable position when you're reaching for your handlebars. Your saddle should be centered so that your kneecap is directly over your pedal spindle when your pedal is in the 3 o'clock position. So once you make those adjustments, your bike should be good to go. Um, and yeah, you should be comfortable during your rides. Uh, cool. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.